everybody. Um, so I'm making this video to show you guys what I bring around with me wherever I go, uh, whether it's school or nannying or um, even to just run errands or uh, yeah, that's um, all the places that I go because I don't like spending money on food that's like twice as expensive and you know it's gone in a meal you know and it's not as healthy as what I what I bring with me um, now this is stuff that you would just snack on it's not really a whole meal thing but it's better than nothing and it fills you up for when you're on the go and I think it's a really healthy way to go and it's a really cheaper way to go because it lasts so much longer you might spend you might spend a lot, you know, getting things um, to put in a bag for you to have while you're on the go, but um, it lasts so much longer, um, and I feel like it's so much worth it. So, um, <laughs> I call this my um, Whole Foods bag, obviously, because it's a Whole Foods bag. I didn't actually go to Whole Foods to get any of this. Um, my mom just kind of had it, and I like that it's a soft material, um, and that it doesn't make a bunch of noise, unlike all the stuff inside. Um, um, and it's not like a plastic Trader Joe's bag, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to bring around paper, brown paper bags wherever I go. I just want something that can just easily be carried around, doesn't break, and it fits on my shoulder just fine just like my purse um, and so yeah I'm gonna show you guys what's what I bring with me wherever I go it's mostly all from Trader Joe's I'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> um, my mom loves to shop there and so um, there were a few things that weren't from Trader Joe's here we go I got them but I finished them they're all gone um, so I'll start with those I had, my mom gave me these blueberry, these acai and blueberry flavored um, little pebbly things. They're so good. They were just like basically like blueberries covered in, in dark chocolate. Yum. And then the other thing was, um, was this. I don't actually know where she got any of this. This might have just been like donated to her or something. Um, but I like that it's um, gluten free, dairy free, raw, and it was actually really good. I was surprised. At first I was kind of like, eh, it's a little grainy. I could, you know, live without it. But then after a while I was like, you know what? I'd rather eat this than something unhealthy. So I kind of liked it after that. And then these ones, kind of the same. Um, this is just, this is all gone. But it was lemon pie flavored. It was pretty good. They were like little coconut balls about that big. And, um, um, they fell apart really easily in your mouth. Like, it was good. Um, okay, and then we have, we just got these. My mom and I both got a bag to try these. And they're okay. Um, let me show you what they look like. They're like, like that. <laughs> they're all like little dried pieces of pineapple. And they're very chewy, but they're really good after a while. And you get some, you get some carbs in there, lots of sugar. Not a big fan of sugar, <laughs> as anyone who's, you know, trying to be super healthy would be. But I like the fruit. I like trying to go mostly fruity. This is, these are dried apricots. Um, so yeah, I like to go mostly fruity. Um, and then I'll have some, like, cashews. These are coconut cashews from Trader Joe's. I opened the bag wrong, so I had to like put them in this bag so that they would... Did I hear my earbuds? No, I don't. Oh, Mom took them. <gasps> Does she still have them with her? Oh! Probably. I'm making a video right now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what else I have. I have some flax seeds. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, that was Marla, by the way. <laughs> Uh, flax seeds are really good by the spoonful. You just shovel them into your mouth and they're kind of dry at first, but you munch on them and they're actually really good. They have like a roasted flavor when you get them from, I don't know if it's just this company, 
that makes them roasted or if it's just in general when you like make when you like process them and put them in bags and stuff um, but here are some orange flavored cranberries I also like to keep around they're cram dried cranberries but they have like I don't know if it's essential oils oh natural orange and citrus flavor with other natural flavors cool um, and then I have some almonds from Trader Joe's almost gone like I said I like to eat um, fruity stuff with protein filled stuff you get your carbs and your um, protein Ugh. okay so I said ugh because this is this is starting to get all greasy on the outside now this is coconut butter um, gourmet stone ground raw vegan 100% organic and it is really good to eat by the spoon as well. Um, it's really creamy and yummy and stuff. Um, and here are some more cashews, but these are chili lime and Thai flavored. Um, love them. Although they are probably, I didn't, I forgot. Oh, the bag's up here, I think. Or maybe I threw it away. Oh, I think I threw it away. But, um... I think this I think that's just kind of high in sodium and trying to cut down on sodium. Just a wee bit. And then I have dried dried pitted prunes. You know what I just figured out the other day? I just figured out that plums turn into prunes. What? And then I had to think like, okay, it's kind of the same concept as like grapes turning into raisins, like you would just think that they were two different things, but apparently plums turn into prunes. Like, I had no idea. I'm 22 years old now, and I didn't know that until like just a month ago. <laughs> I even had a plum tree and never figured that out. They just fell on the floor and died. Like, they never became prunes. So, anyways. Um, and then last but not least, I have roasted almond butter um, just in case if I wanted like a kickstart of protein I guess <laughs> um, and then I have these these things are um, digestion enzymes um, they help with digestion and then of course I have a spoon and a fork for if I bring anything um, I can eat that and then that's it that's all I have in my Whole Foods bag um, so yeah that was that was seemingly pretty short even though it was eight minutes ah <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I bring with me wherever I go I, I always have my water bottle as well I drink I try to drink about four of those a day that's it's pretty challenging but um, it's good and so yeah let me know if you guys like this video um, subscribe if you want to but it would be awesome to see my subscriber numbers go up ah. <laughs> and um, yeah I'll be definitely making some more videos I took a few days off just to um, just to do my own thing for a few days but I love making videos and I love showing you guys stuff, so I'll keep making those. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hey everybody! <clears throat> so I am... I am... Sorry, I'm, I'm getting over my hiccups. I just had the hiccups and I was like, this is the greatest time to have hiccups is when I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> Not. <clears throat> oh, dang it. Anyways, um... So I felt inspired to share my goals, Ugh. and <laughs> um, and I don't really share my goals with very many people, but I assume that if you guys were interested, you would watch it. If you're not, you would just go to another one. That's, that's what anybody would do, and it's perfectly fine. Um. It enables you to have control over what you listen to and what you don't listen to. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so, but for those of you who are interested, I would be glad to share. So, my first one is 
Um, let's see. My goals. My first one is to finish the long distance relationship that my boyfriend and I are in right now. He comes home this year in December slash January, and that'll be a huge adventure. Like, he will be... What he wants to do is be home... Dang it. He wants to be home for two months, November, December, because he'll have enough days, off days saved up, so he can be there, be here, be here for a while before he actually um, gets out of the military. And that'll be yay! That'll be exciting! And then when he goes, uh, when he goes back, I think I'm gonna go with him, and we're gonna pack all of his stuff. Maybe be there for a week, for a few weeks. I don't know. It'll be Christmas break for me, for me anyway, so I'll have enough time to do that and whatever. And then um, we'll fly back. We'll pack up his stuff, and his parents uh, might come with us too. And then. Um, but from what I understand is that they're gonna take, they're gonna take um, they're gonna take a truck home full of his stuff and then we're gonna drive his car um, all the way across the 50 states to get back to California from Delaware and um, and then from from there we'll be our normal coupley selves yay we're so excited. Three years, man, in a long-distance relationship. It's not e it's not easy, but it's been easy for us just because we're good at it, I suppose, and we really like each other. So, um, so my oh my gosh, <laughs> I wish this would go away. My next goal um, <clears throat> is to grow my YouTube channel. Um, for, like, the first few videos slash weeks slash months, um, I just wanted to share my stuff. I just, I had a few video, videos on my phone, um, and I wanted to just put them on my channel just to see what would happen. And, um, then I was like, oh my gosh, this is really, really cool. Like, this could be a hobby. This could be a hobby. This could be something I, you know do and I you know I feel like it gives me a chance to be a leader it gives me a chance to um, be creative be myself um, to really share who I am <laughs> because wherever I go you know I have an employer you know who's always wanting me to be my best for the, for their kids for their business whatever and so they don't really get to know who I really am so I feel like when you go to my channel and you learn more about me as you go, you start to learn like who this person is and you, um, um, and I think that's really cool. That's, you know, something that I can keep private from people or something I can be like, oh my gosh, go to my YouTube channel. I think you'd really like it. Um, so, um, I'm really excited to be making more videos and I'm really excited for the good feedback and I'm really excited that this can be a positive place for people to talk and um, place their opinions and all that. That's all I ever want it to be. Um, I have not had my, you know, hate mail and I hope I never do because that would just suck and I don't feel like I have said anything to offend offend or make that, you know, happen, so, knocking on wood, because I don't ever want that to happen. Anyways, um, so my next goal is that, I don't know if you can see it, turn my journals into books. I have about 35 journals right now, and I'm working on a journal right now, but it is so dang huge that I will not be able to finish that very soon. Very soon. It'll probably take until like the end of the year. That's how small the lines are. I'm writing so small. I've gotten like 10 compliments on my small hand handwriting because it is so small, but it, it will last forever. And um, so I have 35 journals. I want to publish them. I want to make them into books. Not sure how yet, um, but I want to make them into books. I, either like childhood, teenage years, 
and now adult years, you know, just kind of separate them into the chunks, of, uh, chunks of my life, and um, um, and then uh, and then I was like, well, oh my gosh, people on YouTube always have like, you know, are always advertising their ebook, uh, ebooks, and their audio, you know, their audio books and their books in general on iTunes or whatever. So, um, I was thinking of doing the same thing. Oh, you know, just another way to be like, hey, this is who I really am. Um, if you really want to get to know me, read my books, you know. But that's only if you want to. I'm not going to force it upon you guys. I'm not going to advertise in your face all the time. So, um, yeah, I want to turn my journals into books. And they could just be for me. If people don't care to read them, I could just have them for myself. That's, you know, I'm, I'd be good with that. That's all I want for myself. But if people actually like them, that'd be cool too. That could just be like, wow, people really want to get to know me. Because I like to get to know new people. So if that, you know, goes both ways, cool. Um, so my fourth goal is to get my psychology degree either at the community college that I'm at right now, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards. I can get my degree at the college that I'm at right now if I really wanted it. Or I could pay a bunch of money and go to a four-year. I don't know. I mean, obviously money-wise, I'd rather just stay at DBC because I have financial aid there. Um, but then I don't really want to miss out on the whole college experience. You know? I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out, but I want to get my psychology degree. I think I want a bachelor's, maybe a master's. We'll see. Um, oh, and then my fifth goal is to practice ballet till I get to advanced point. Um, so right now, um, I wouldn't say beginners, but I wouldn't say intermediate. Kind of in the middle where I know stuff and I've been in ballet when I was really young, so I still kind of remember some things here and there, and I kind of feel like my uh, muscle have